I'm Andy Wilson, and I'd like to show you a research project we're calling Holoflector. Holoflector is an augmented reality mirror. What we're seeing here is a very large translucent mirror, and about three feet behind that is an LCD panel that's also very large. And I'm standing about three feet away from the translucent mirror. That means if we render graphics on the LCD in life size, I can still see those graphics and they're basically in correspondence with my reflection. So it looks like the graphics are perfectly overlaid onto my reflection. Now, you'll notice here that it, it, you see this, um, this image of myself. We're getting that from the Connect sensor, which is placed just above the mirror. The Connect sensor is monitoring what I'm doing. We're also getting the uh, scalable tracking data. We also notice that there's a blue ball superimposed onto my right hand. That's basically showing me where the system thinks my Windows phone is right now. So that's an idea that we call sensor fusion. And it's something that, that demonstrates the complementary nature of the sensors on the phone and the Kinect sensors. So let's have a little bit of fun. So here's a holographic video call that we can see through the mirror. So there's just a video of me. We can imagine this could be a live image of someone uh, that I'd be talking to. You'll notice that it, it will actually switch from one hand um, to the next so I can hold this little um, uh, version of myself. So it's kind of a fun uh, idea of communications in the future. So as another example of what we can do to combine the phone with uh, the holoflector is we have this um, basically this wooden paddle that we're rendering. And so one nice thing about using the phone is that we get the nice orientation data from the phone and we're also using the position data from Connect. And then finally we can demonstrate interacting say with, with a, a fluid simulation. The Kinect data is now colliding with the various particles on the display for this kind of interesting experience. We've seen a lot of examples of augmented reality where they're, you're looking at a phone and you're seeing graphics superimposed onto a video feed like a camera. And this is much more about rendering graphics onto the real world or the reflection of the real world. And it's also a study of how we can use the mobile phone in a complementary way with Kinect. Thank you.